What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen today we're going to be showcasing the brand new Pokemon Unite update and everything you guys need to know about it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel here, make sure you click that big red subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my videos. But yes, today, this has been the biggest Pokemon Unite update we have had, I think, so far. There's brand new interfaces. It just released on mobile. New items, new special or super item enhancers, and two new Pokemon are coming. I thought they would be in this update, but I guess not. So if you guys know when Mamoswine or Sylveon is coming into Pokemon Unite officially, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get started here. Let's go over everything about this brand new update. So if we go into, we'll start at the shop. We'll start off with the three brand new items. So if we go over into the AO Emporium, we can go over here and enter. I think it's an AO Emporium. Yeah, and we go into items. We can showcase the brand new items. We got the weakness policy, the choice specs, and the razor call. Three pretty cool items. I didn't buy every single item yet because I don't use any of these. Like, I don't use the AO's cookie. I don't really use the Rocky Helmet. I should actually buy the Attack Weight. That's a pretty good item. But here are the three new items. Let's go over them. We got the weakness policy starting off here. It increases the Pokemon attack for a short time when the Pokemon receives damage. This increase grows larger the more time or the more damage the Pokemon is taking. So I think that's a pretty cool item. So say you're... I think it would work better for squishy Pokemon, right? Or I don't think it really matters. Maybe defensive Pokemon, actually. So the more damage you take, the more damage you are going to deal out. So that's pretty cool. I feel like that can be used on certain Pokemon. So it's a very niche item here. So maybe we can see that and use it up in the future. Next item we have is Choice Specs. And this one's pretty straightforward. Increases the damage of moves when they hit. Pretty straightforward. It also does boost your special attack as this little like side power up. So that's a pretty cool item. And that's what I would think it would do. Boost special attack. Considering in the main series Pokemon game, that's exactly what it does. It boosts your special attack. Final item here, we got the Rage Call right here, and this one seems really, really cool, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to use as well. So after a Pokemon uses a move, its next basic attack deals increased damage, in addition when this item is held by a melee Pokemon, this basic attack also decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time when it hits. So that seems really, really strong. It decreases the movement time, and it's going to be able to make your basic attacks do a lot more damage. So this Pokemon, or not this Pokemon, this item right here is mainly used for physical melee attackers. So I feel like a Pokemon that it will be really good on would be Lucario, considering he's up close, he gets personal and all that. He can deal bigger damage, and he can slow down Pokemon so they can't really run away from him, and he can keep him close in range, so he can deal massive amount of damage. But these are the three items right here. Let's move on to one of my new favorite things in the update, and that is going to be super item enhancer so as you guys know actually i love this new interface this new interface is amazing but as you guys know um item enhancers they level up your items and it is an actual bear to level up items to level 30 it is crazy like it takes so many item enhancers and it takes an absolute grind to get it but since they just came out with new super item enhancers these things level your item up to 30 instantly i have three of them you get three of them right now from your uh daily challenges not daily challenges but some of the challenges so you can get up to three as of right now i don't know if there's any other way to get them but for right now you can get three and that is amazing so i can legit level up any item i want to level 30 instantly instantly it's so crazy and it saves you a bunch of time so i can actually click use if i really want to and i'm gonna wait to actually use mine but i just want to show you guys what they do so these are my favorite items right here the focus band buddy barrier and muscle band and these are the levels i have them on since i've been grinding since it came out but we're sitting here. We got the buddy barrier right here. Say we want to max it out. I can actually hit use right here. And then if I hit select, it will actually bring it to level 30. But the best part about it is it gives you every single item enhancer that you use back for it. So we will get 422 item enhancers back. So the item enhancers that we use for it did not go to waste. We will get them back and this thing will just jump to level 30, which I think is really, really cool. So hands down, round of applause for Pokemon Unite community to actually let that go and uh, release that into the game. Uh, what else is there in the update? So another thing that they released an update is patch notes, nerfs, and buffs. I will leave a link down in the description below to the official page with all the nerfs and buffs. They're pretty cool. Hopefully you guys definitely check them out. And then final thing is a new battle pass for right now. I'll show you guys a new battle pass. Now what happens to some new battles? And uh, just just play some Pokemon Unite just so you guys have some extra content for me. But um, over here we got new styles. I I don't really think the battle pass is all that great. I just think it's a kind of just like a money thing for Pokemon Unite. Now this game has released on mobile. I think a lot of people will be buying the Battle Pass. But it doesn't really give you anything too, too special. Like clothes and all that and aesthetic looks really don't benefit your gameplay. So this is why I don't really buy it because you get all your item enhancers free. But you do get these tickets. And the tickets do go a long way. So you can get more item enhancers with that. You can buy more items and you can go from there. But there's really nothing too special in the Battle Pass except for the final end thing. And that is this Gengar. I think this Gengar is so sick. So if you guys are into cosmetics, definitely get the Battle Pass. It's not even too expensive. I think it's like 10 bucks. Maybe a little bit cheaper than that. Maybe like 8. 
something like that but definitely cool i might pick it up maybe not but it really doesn't benefit your gameplay at all it's more for aesthetic looks and getting after it that way but that is pretty much everything there is in the update the interface is new slick we talked about the new items we talked about the super item enhancers and um we showed off new battle pass the new pokemon are not here yet which sad face i really want to use them in today's video but that's totally fine it really is totally fine but i really do like this new interface like i've been saying i think it's super super cool they did nerf some Pokemon, and they did nerf some items as well. I think the, uh, what is that? The Jack Bun got a little nerf, but it's all good. It is all good. Everything else is pretty straightforward, and it's the same thing as normal. But let's hop into some Unite Battles, showcase this uh, game a little bit more, and play a little bit of some battles. We're hopping into our first battle, and the ranks did not change yet. It still says Season 1 for the ranks, which is kind of weird because the Battle Pass says Season 2. But we're going to get started here, rocking out with our favorite Pokemon in this game. And that is Greninja. He kind of got a nerf, yet a little bit of a buff. It's weird. He got some things increased, some things decreased, but I think overall he kind of stayed the same. So I think he's still a very, very viable Pokemon and really good in this game. We're going to be rocking out with him. Love him so much. We like that central lane. You guys know he's an absolute beast in the central lane. Um, I think next battle we're probably going to use maybe like Cinderace. I think Cinderace could be cool or maybe Blissey. Blissey, Blastoise, Cinderace. There, you guys already know those are my top four characters. Greninja, Blissey, Cinderace, and Blastoids. I've been loving using them. I definitely have to broaden my horizons and get new Pokemon. So that's why I cannot wait for Mamoswine and Sylveon to come out. I'm going to buy them both. I'm going to get some awesome items from them. And I'm going to learn them as Pokemon. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, like I said, I definitely thought that those Pokemon would be released in this update. So if you guys know the official release date, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I at least thought one of them was coming. I read up on things that said Mamoswine was coming today. But he's not here. He's not here, which is sad. You would, you would, you would think he would come in the update. But yeah, so far, I'm really, really liking this update. I really am. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below your guys' total thoughts on the update. That is actually question of the day. But let's get ripping out here. I'm starting off with my boy, my Froakie. Let's get it. I'm just going to use my eject button to actually just eject into the jungle and roll off from here. Let's go. And yo, okay, they added a little, uh, they added, like, what's, what's that yellow arrow that I just saw? The game does look a, li a bit slicker, which I really, really like. The game looks... Uh, bit slicker and i really like that i really like that they added like a little bit of graphic design and i feel like this game looks a bit better oh and there's something in that top left corner what is that is that the amount of pokemon that are alive that's pretty cool and Rolt's picking up a ko is that for our team i do not think that's for our team i do not think that's for our team yeah our pokemon went down i think our pokemon went down yeah because we do not have a Rolt's on our team and fletchling is dead that is rough they are scoring early on here rough way to start off a new season but yo the game feels so much better even the KO, like, uh, animations, it looks so cool. It looks so much better. This game looks so much cleaner. But good good work, Pokemon Unite Company. Pokemon Company, get after it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is actually uh, evolve into my boy Frogadier, and I'm going to slide through here. And I'm waiting for these bees to spawn, because I really got to get these bees for our team. I'm going to just chill here, and bees will spawn in two seconds, 8.50. Here comes the bees, and I'm going to just start taking them all. I'm going to just start taking them all, and then potentially I'm just going to go score. I might just go score. Let's see what they're going to do here. Oh, they're just picking up KOs. They're picking up a lot of KOs. Let's shoot that, and I'm going to get after you. I'm going to do this. And I might take you out. I might take you out. Let's actually dip back a little bit. I might die here. Dip back. And try to eject button. Nope, we're chilling. All right, that's cool. I really want to score, but it's all good. I'm going to head back to, ooh, to the jungle. Ooh, get it out of my face. Where does this thing go? I need eject button now. That's totally fine. I need some HP. Let's head back to the jungle. Let's just farm up our HP and farm up our levels at the same time because we are one level away from actually getting Greninja. That could be huge for our team. I know I'm low on HP, but if I just evolve into Greninja, I can get my Water Shrekken and we can do a lot of damage and get HP back at the same time. Let's just keep teeing off on these guys and roll out from here. So beautiful, beautiful. Give me all the XP. Wiggly tough. Get a double K. They're really controlling that bot lane, so I'm cool with that. I'm cool with them doing that. Do that. And be able to take you out. And now we have Grand Ninja. We are ready to rock. We have Water Strike and ready to roll. And I'm just going to wait these. Uh, Actually, I'm not going to wait the seconds. And we're going to use Water Strike and get all of our HP back, which is dandy. Pop, 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 pop. Dude, that's why I love Grand Ninja. I think he's such a cool Pokemon. I think he's so good. You can just farm up HP and stuff, which is amazing. You really do not have to really go back to base like most of the other Pokemon. Let's see if we can slide in here and steal some KOs here. See if we can get him. Big damage there. Let's see if I can actually finish him off. Help the team get the KOs. And I'm going to score 30. I'm going to score 30 here. Get some XP from there. And just kind of control the battle from there. And Dreadnought does spawn in 15. So they're definitely going to need me down there. So I'm going to roll out here. And go get that Dreadnought. Because Dreadnought is huge. If you guys are new players to this, make sure you guys focus up on Dreadnought. Dreadnought gives all your team XP. And he also grants them a shield as well. So it's huge all around. And let me check. Actually, I can steal this kill right here. 
Let's see if I can actually get that. Oh, no, 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 no. I hit the jack button back. Do you night move? I have no idea, but I need some HP here. Drenal did spawn. I guess we'll farm up this HP. There's no citrus berries chilling back there. I think we're fine, dude. We've been grinding. We've been doing great. We're on a decent level right here. Let's see if we can actually take Drenal here, because if we can take Drenal, that could be big for us. Let me get some HP back by dealing damage onto this Drenal. And we'll see what they want to do here. Waiting for them to make a move, maybe step up to us. I do have my Unite move, so I could actually send it over to them, which I am going to do right now. Look at that damage right there. Feel that. There's a KO for me. I think I got one. Maybe, maybe not. But we got Drenal, which is the most important thing. Awesome. I did get a KO on the Wigglytuff. And now I can actually score my points here and deal a lot of damage to these towers. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We are rolling out so strong here, dude. Yo, our team is buzzing. Our team is buzzing. We're playing a perfect jungle here. We are playing a perfect jungle here by getting all these levels. Kind of rolling out. Running around the map and uh, circulating at a great rate here, too. So let's keep rolling here. Let's just keep buzzing. That's why I love Greninja. Like, Greninja in the jungle, I feel like he is one of the best junglers. He is so strong all around. He's just an absolute beast. And if you guys are playing jungle, make sure you always loop back to jungle and get your jungle enemies. They're just high in XP and they give you little buffs as well. Yo, look at that talent flame trying to come in there and steal that from me. Bro, I'm the jungler. I'm the jungler. Another thing you guys need to know about junglers is you guys want them to get a lot of the XP. You guys want them to farm up there. You guys want them doing big damage and doing a lot all around. Dude, why does this town flame keep coming in here and taking my KOs, man? <laughs> taking all my XP. I'm going to cut through this mid because it looks like he's getting chased here. And we can deal damage here and get rid of you. Actually, town flame picked up that KO. I'll we'll dip up on you and deal my water striking damage. And did I get that one? I think I might have. I did indeed. I did indeed get that damage. And I'm going to slide through here and see if I can catch in some Pokeballs here. See if jeans can do that. See if jeans can cash into Pokeballs. You get XP and HP from cashing into Pokeballs. So whenever you get the chance, you should always try to do that. Well, step up to me. Look at that. Yo, look at that damage from deep. From deep. Now I can actually do this. Actually, we're chilling here. Let's do this. We are on fire. Look at that. <laughs> Let's deal damage here. Should be able to pick up a few KOs here. I might die here. Let's eject button back. Which I just did. And I should get my... Get this. And be able to do this. Oh, why is that like bringing me backwards? I'll take the KO though. Wow, dude, Wigglytuff just did like something crazy on me that I never seen before. It was just like dealing damage on me <laughs> and like making me move backwards. Kind of threw me off, but I'm gonna roll up to this Corefish just to deal some damage, get some XP or not XP, HP back. And I might farm back into the jungle, but what's called is gonna spawn right now. Dreadnought. So if we can steal this Dreadnought, we're pretty much going to uh, wrap up this match. And we haven't died once. Oh, yo, is that a Grand Engine here? What is he doing, yo? Get out of my face, dude. Look at this dude trying to sneak up on the bush for us. Get him out of my face. Let's take out this Dreadnought. Let's get that XP, HP, shield, everything we need. Awesome. I get the Dreadnought kill, and I'm just going to head back over here to the jungle right now. Oh, what is this? Yo, dang Gabby chilling in here. Get him out of here, bro. We're too high of a level. We got this one on wrap. We pretty much have this uh, battle on wrap. I'm just going to head back to the jungle. I am going to farm it up probably one last time here and not even worry about kills because I play to win. I don't play for kills. A lot of people hop in, they, they, they only try to go for kills, but that's not how you should play this game. You should really play this game by uh, trying to get XP, leveling up, and just going for wins. And kills will just naturally come, you know? What's called is uh, scoring over there, the Nine Tails. That's totally fine. I'll go sneak over on her in just a second. I'm going to go cut through this lane. And I actually might go for this double kill over here. We're pushing these guys. I, I, I'm just going to go pinch this uh, this Alola Nine Tails. I'm just going to go pinch her. She should be right over here. I should be fine with just throwing these things on her. I didn't hit her too, too much. I can dash up here and we get rid of her. There we go. Me and the Town Flame just teeing off on that. We're rolling out strong. We're rolling out strong. Got any enemies over here that I can actually hit up on? There we go. We can do that. Get some HP from that. I do have my Unite move ready to rock. I'm just waiting for this. Uh, Oh, there's this Greninja. Dang, man. Let's use this double team. I should be able to kill this thing. There it goes. I'm the better Greninja, baby. I do have my Unite move ready to rock. I think he's in this bush right here, Town Flame. Nope, he's not. Town Flame just checked the bush. He did dip up here a little bit. We're kind of just chilling here. Where's this Gardevoir at? Is it over here? Where is that Gardevoir at? Oh, she's right here. Get her out of here. I'll take that KO all day. I need some HP. I definitely need some HP, so we're just going to farm up on these Corefish right here. I don't have my Unite move ready to rock, and there is a bunch of those guys over here. I'm going to slide back here under my tower, get some HP, and just protect it. I think the Guard Chomp is rolling up on me. There's a few people over here. We can throw that. I can get a KO, and I'm just going to Unite move here. Unite move, pop off. And I should be able to take out that Wiggly Tough, no problem. Nope, did not get that. I thought I was going to be able to just get a quick team wipe there, but yo, that's our first death so far. We are playing out of our minds. Our whole team is dominating right here. Let's see how we're doing. We are 7 and 8. I didn't even realize we had that many kills. I didn't even realize we had that many kills, and I scored a ton of points for the team. Tons and tons of points for the team, but at the 2 minute mark, Zapdos is going to spawn, so we have 8 seconds for that. He spawns right here, and if you guys do get him, this is the bread and butter for the game. If you get him, you basically win the game. 
you can be losing the match the whole time and then the other team could get Zapdos and you guys can lose easily so we definitely gotta play this one smart definitely gotta get this i maybe should have saved my unite move for that i think we should be fine all around Gardevoir is somewhere over here so i am ready to kind of just get after it that way where's this Gardevoir at they're scoring and it is double points here so i am going to take this shield off of you and i am going to dip back a little bit and we should be able to take out this guy right here get him out of here we get rid of that guard chomp and i am going to farm some hp right here and do we have a Cinerace on our team? We do indeed. Cinerace is seen off here. I am going to dip back here. Launch that into you. And we have to get after this. Uh, We have to get after this thing right here. Did we get that? We did. We did get that. I'll take the death all day. I'll take the death all day. We got Zapdos here. Hopefully that Cinerace rushes the tower. Hopefully he doesn't die here. He is going to die. That's rough news. We need our guys to go score some points in order to guarantee us winning. Yo, what a huge all from the Talonflame. Talonflame, dip out. Dip out, Talonflame. All of our dudes died. Did we all just die? This one's going to be close. We're losing. We are losing right now, so I got to go score some points. I got to go score some points. Hopefully, these guys defend tower. I'm going to go score some points. I'm going to go score some points. So, do we got Zapdos there and we're going to lose? No way. Go get him, Pikachu. Pikachu, get on that tower. You guys go defend. I'll go score. I'll go score. There we go. How many points do I have? I think I can potentially win us the game because it is double. And I'm just going to chill here. I'm going to throw a double team out here. and God dang it, man. I must have my Unite move. Did I just fake him out? Let's Unite move. Uh, I need to score here. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Talonflame just scored. Talonflame just won us the game. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, yo. That's a huge way to actually end this game right here. Thank the Lord my teammates came out there. I think that 76 points really just won this game. What's the score? What's the scores here? Let's go, baby. Yo, Talonflame clutching up. We got Zapdos, but they controlled super, super well after that, killing us all, making none of us get points, which is crazy. And then we dominated at the end, making a hard push at the end, and win winning that match at the last second. Yo, let's go. Oh, yo, people giving me thumbs up. So if you see like a one next to your name, it means people are giving you thumbs up. But yo, I want to give a thumbs up to this Talonflame right here. To this Talonflame right here. Let's give him a good job right here. Give him a good job. That is awesome. Yo. Look how we did. We went 8-8. Eight and eight. Our team actually did great all around. Wigglytuff went 5-2. and two. Pikachu went 5-15. and 15. 15 assists? That's crazy. 10-5 and five for the Cinderace most kills on our team. And then that Talonflame got MVP because he scored 127 points. And I'll give him MVP for scoring that last point. I was trying to get it, but they kept hitting up on me. But I'll take that all around. Hopping into battle number 2. And I think I'm just going to play fill roll here. I really do think I'm just going to play the fill role here. I will go bot lane if they need a bottom lane. I will go top if they need a top lane. So I could play Cinderace. I could play Blissey. I could play Blastoise here as well. And if Grand Ninjas go in that jungle area, I'm totally fine with that. There it is. I'm totally fine with playing Blastoids. I'll play the fill role here. We are going to rock Blastoids here. I'm going to battle prep, and I think I am going to... Ooh, no, it's already set. It is already set. I love these items on them. The focus band, the buddy barrier, and the score shield. Definitely got to get them leveled up. So maybe, just maybe, I will rock out with, uh, with my super item enhancers on these items. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I know the Focus Man and Buddy Barrier, I probably should definitely do that. Considering they are probably like the two best items in the game. Unless something changed with the nerfs and buffs. But I definitely got to read up on that. I know they did a lot of Pokemon. I knew they changed some battle items. Such as like the uh, Eject Button. They get a little nerf and all that good stuff. But so far, this update is awesome. I love the new interface in the main menu. And I love the new graphic and the design features in the gameplay. I really do. I think it looks so much slicker. I think the game runs a lot smoother. I'm really liking it all around. But we're rocking out here with my main man, Blastoise. I know I play Blastoise and Grand Ninja a lot. They're just my two favorite as of right now. Blastoise is definitely fun to play because he's really, really tanky. And he has a lot of range to him. And Grand Ninja is just an absolute beast like I just showed off in that last battle. We dominated with him in that central area. And we had a huge victory. A huge victory. Last second victory, I should say, considering that Talonflame went in, scored the final goals. But we're going to get rocking him. We have our Grand Ninja in the jungle. And, dude, I seriously think he's still one of the best in the jungle. We're going to lock Water Gun early on. And me and this Wiggly Tough are going to rock out on this top lane here. Look how much damage we just ripped up on this thing. Get him out of here. We just ripped that thing. <laughs> Let's keep rolling here. Let's see if I can actually land a shot right here. So what I like to do is actually come diagonal and hit them both like that, which is awesome. Makes us do more damage and makes them get rid of them quicker. And then, since we're top lane, I want to roll over to this Corefish and actually come towards him. Let's see if I can actually just, like, push all these guys back. and Skull Bash onto this thing. Let's see if we can get, get some damage off on this thing. We are taking a little bit of damage ourselves, but it's all good. It is all good. Let's see if we can get rid of this Corefish. I'm just going to rip a Water Gun into that thing. And then go get some HP. Then go get some HP and farm up on this 8 bomb. Which I'm totally cool with. Get rid of that thing. And there's a Quirfish down there, but 
I'm going to leave that for that Froki there. Because I would be mad if somebody took mine. Let's sit here. Let's see if he, she actually pushes up. I know she's in the bush. I might loop around and use my score shield. She's looping around. Okay. If you're looping around, I'll chill here. If she's looping around, I'll chill here. Actually, the nine minute mark. Let's call we'll spawn. The score fish, so I am going to take it out. And let's see what that Jigglypuff does. If I can take this thing out, I can get level four. I can be ready for the bees because the bees spawn at 850. So two seconds. Let's push up over towards the bees. And let's get after it. So there's a lot of. Oh my god, dude. They just got teed off on. What are you guys doing? Let's go bash back. I can't do anything over this. What just happened? What just happened? I, I was gone for a second. And my boys died. So let's actually push all these guys back. Get back, baby. I can't really do much here. I can't do much unless I have water gun. Yeah, I, I, I gotta let him score. I have to let him score. Better not touch that. Let's push you back. Get out of my face, yo. We need. I need some of my teammates here. I need some of my teammates here. He, he webbed me down there. He, what level is he for? Here's my wiggly pu or my Jigglypuff back. And let's push them back. Can I just roll from there? God dang it, Jigglypuff. What are you doing? He went in for the kill, and then the jungler popped out. That's why I wish our jungler came up here, but he chose to go to the bot lane, which is totally fine. But I'm going to roll over here and try to take out some of these. Let me just core fish, get some more Pokeballs, and then maybe go for a score with my score shield. Let's get our central lane on. Let's get our central lane on. Take you out, and Pikachu is coming down here. I see you. Take it back, baby. Uh, I, I might die here. Let's actually skull bash up here. I do have a jack button as well, so let's just keep rolling. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with dropping both of them for that, and they go get this. And if they want to try to score, I can just do this. Oh, they both rock and score shields? Get out of my face. Both these dudes are rock and score shields. I'm taking a mad amount of damage, but luckily I'm under tower. Waiting for my Pokemon to come over here. There's my Wigglytuff. And we are struggling in this top lane right now, but I'm playing pretty well. I'm just playing defensive role here. Just trying to keep them away from tower. Hopefully our central lane and our bot lane are doing some work. And I'm fine with just playing like this, if that's the case. Let's try to take out these. I don't want to get behind all these guys and push them all back here. Yep, just like that. There we go. We got Hydro Pump unlocked. I am going to go with the Hydro Pump and Surf moveset. Absolutely love it. I think it is great. And Drenal is spawning. So we should actually go to that bot lane. So let me score these points real quick. Get my XP, all that good stuff. And let's go head to that bot lane. I'm coming, boys. I'm coming, boys. Jeans is coming. Really tough. Let's go. Let's go. We need Drenal. I should pay attention a little bit more to Drenal. So if they get it, I'm going to be very upset. I think we should be good. Look at us, yo. Look at me and Wigglytuff just rolling down there. <laughs> we're like, yo, we coming. Oh, and they were able to get it. Actually, did Argument? No, we did not get it. Let's see if I can actually push behind him. If I can get some work done here. That was a, definitely a bad push here. Skull bash out. And let's keep rolling. I do have my jack button ready to roll. I'm dipping here a little bit. I can just do this. Push a lot of them back. But, dude, we were just getting overwhelmed there. We were just getting overwhelmed. I definitely should have been down all with the, for the Dreadnought a while ago. Hopefully that Charmeleon goes steals that Rotom. And in the meantime, I'm just going to go steal these all Dinos in this bot lane right here. Since no one's going to get them, I'm just going to take them up here. Get my levels up. I do have Surf ready to roll, so Surf would have been great there. Surf would have been great because I could push everybody back like this. Like, look at that. Love me some Surf. Love me some Surf. Let's do that. And I'm going to get rid of this uh, Corphish here while it's Greninja. You're only level 8, Greninja? Bro, you're only level 8. Get out of my face, Greninja. Get out of my face, Greninja. How are you the only level 8? They took our top lane tower, so I just need to farm XP at this point. I really do just need to farm XP. Let's push back with Surf and just farm this XP with all these Aldinos and then eventually just protect tower. So that's what we definitely need right now. We definitely need to be uh, protecting towers and just to get an XP. And of course, my Surf like glitched in the wall. <laughs> it's all good. I just pump there. Get that. We are level 8 and these guys are pushing hard. Jeez, man. Let's Surf them all back. There's KO. Let's try to get rid of you. Push you back. There's KO for us again. Let's keep ripping on these fools. Let's keep ripping on them. Up over here. And I do have Hydro Pump ready, but I just scared them all back. I'm with that all day, yo. Great defense for me. Definitely defend it really, really well there. I don't think I got a KO, but I probably should have. Probably should have. Pushed them all under tower. Off for tower. I just fold out from there, but we have these little enemies right here, and I might just take them. Our jungler's not touch them. If Greninja comes in here for that, I'll let him have it, but he's just sitting there. Yeah, see, he's just sitting there not taking that. He's playing an awful jungle. If you have a bad jungler, it really messes up your whole team. Like, your jungler is a main part of your team. Like, it's probably the biggest part of your team. If your jungler is playing great, he can carry you to victory. I think the jungler is the only one who can carry you to victory. Just because he gets so much XP. So, I'm just going to start stealing all the XP from the jungle. If he's not touching it, I'll definitely take it. Pikachu gets that. And that's our... We don't have Pikachu. Pikachu got the Dreadnought. That's totally fine. So I'm going to go score some points here. Go cash in my Pokeballs here. They want to surrender to vote? Do not want to do it. I do not want to do it. Let me cash in real quick. Let's see if this changes their mind. Let's see if this changes their mind. Bop. 
40 points. I don't think it changed his mind. I don't think it changed his mind. But since everybody's not booing, I'm not going to cancel out here. That's totally fine. Let's keep rolling here. I got Hydro Pump Plus. I'm just going to keep scoring some points here. Hydro Pump Plus here over here. And there's that Greninja. I see you, Greninja. Don't act like I don't see you. Oh, he's level 13 at the back here. Got Mr. your Water Shrek, and I'll dip you. Get back, baby. We have my Unite move ready to roll. Get this. I'm just going to use my alt move. And, of course, that dude rolls in there when I use my alt move. <laughs> it's all good. But we actually just crushed that. We actually just crushed that right there. All the... Uh, it was a level 13 Grand Ninja versus a level 11 me. And I actually just defended him really, really well and outplayed him. But I'm just going to get my XP. I feel, I feel like this battle can definitely turn around here. Definitely need some more HP. But I'm going to go under tower here and just try to take out these Aldinos. Come here, Aldinos. Follow me. Let me be under his tower. Push you back a little bit as I'm getting all this XP. And now we'll roll over here. Beautiful. We destroyed a goal zone. I see Garchomp pushing up over there. Hey, come here, Garchomp. Let's push you back a little bit. Get back, baby. I can push you back a little bit. And there it is. Big KO from me, dude. We're right back in this game. We are right back in this game. We're struggling, but yo, if we can get up, uh, up en enough XP. Dude, I can't even speak right now. If we can get up enough XP here, we can definitely win this battle right here. We can definitely win this battle by taking out Zapdos and just kind of rolling from there. Right now, I'm on a good farm right now. Bob, take you out. And I'm almost level 13. I definitely need HP. I need to farm up my HP right now. 13 off on the Scorefish here. Scorefish going to go back. Let's launch him. And take him out from there. Beautiful. And so he's dead. We are level 13. I just think I go start heading to that mid lane. I do have my ult move ready. One of the best ults in the game, hands down. So that can definitely be very, very clutch for us. Like I said, since this jungler is not taking any of this XP here, I someone do need to do it. It's just too much XP to be left on the table. And we got Dreadnought. Bro, my team just got Dreadnought for us. That's huge. I haven't really been worrying about Dreadnought this game. Especially since they got the first two. I was just like, okay, I shouldn't really worry about that. I should just farm up my XP. But, dude, they just got Drenal there, and that is huge. We could totally get Zapdos here and win this battle. Hands down, we can win this battle here. Double kill from him. I'm just going to push up here and start uh, teeing off on this uh, Zapdos here. Big 76 points for a squad there. I am just going to push this guy back, deal some damage onto him. And is that our Wigglytuff? And it is our Wigglytuff here. So if they want to all push up here, I have my ult ready to go. I have my ult ready to go. I am going to push him back here. I'm going to ult right here. Big old ult here. Get some massive amount of damage here. Push a lot of these guys back. I am going to check button back a little bit. And we had to start teeing off on the Zapdos. And we did not get that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, I, and I'm stunned hard. Let's see if we can take you out here. We're going to go dip up here. Get some points here. There's this guy. Let's take you out. And let's roll. Let's try to get some points here. They're scoring a lot, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. They're definitely scoring a lot. I'm going to split here. He's going to get that one. I'm going to get this one. Hopefully surf over here. And see if I can score this 100 points here. Because if he can score 100 and I can score 100, that could be pretty dangerous. There's 100. There's 100. There's 200 there. This one's going to be super, super close. We just, got, we just got to defend. We got the lead, baby. Yo, we got the lead without Zapdos. So, yo, just defend towers. I'm just going to head back. Just got to defend towers here. It's actually just a return to base like this. Be better, better off for us. Dude, I played a good late game here. I played a great late game here. I think I am just going to hop over this tower. We have him under there. And Pikachu is trying to roll up over here. Yo, get back, Pikachu. You want to push up on me? Good. Get back. I'm going to come after you. I'm going to come after you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, yo. Good defense there. Here comes the Garchomp. I'm ready for you, Garchomp. I'm ready for you, Garchomp. Come here, Garchomp. Let me surf up on all these guys. Push them back a little bit. Our team off on these guys. We need some damage on these guys. And they just scored 88 points. No way no one's defending that bot. Or did we score 88? I think they did. Surf on you. And there's a KO. There's a huge KO for me. I don't think he has enough time to score here. I don't know if we won this one. Oh, Charizard just scored 100. Yo, let's go, baby. Let's get it, yo. What a battle, yo. We definitely won that one with that Charizard scoring that extra 100. But I want to see how much we won by. We would have lost if that Charizard didn't score that 100. So, yo, Charizard coming in clutch again. Yo, what amazing battles we showcased for you guys today. We played Blastoise really, really well there. I was MVP. Four and six. Definitely came up clutch towards the end there. A lot of pushbacks. That's what I love about Blastoise. Like, you don't have to have a lot of kills in order to have a good game. I was pushing a lot of the enemies back with my ult, with my surf, with my hydro pump. Like, the ult at the end really came up clutch. I was able for, well, I was able to do a lot of damage with that. Considering there were so many Pokemon around me. Knock them all up, stun them a little bit, and our team was able to uh, get some damage off on there. But they did get Zapdos. We were able to kill them. 
kind of come back from that we'll get some points i did get a few thumbs up here which is awesome so i am the mvp that is how it's done but yo that is the battles hopefully you guys did enjoy the video not gonna lie ladies and gentlemen these two battles were probably the best battles i've showcased on the channel in a while they were two phenomenal battles very very close and two separate battles on their own considering our first battle we rocked that jungle dominated with the grand ninja and controlled the match the whole way whereas the second battle we were struggling early on we were actually losing for most of the battle but we were able to defend zapdos farm up some xp and grab ourselves a win in that one but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live don't forget guys let me know for question of the day what do you guys think of the update hopefully i did a good enough job of analyzing it and showcasing it to its fullest potential seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody